when the Geneva talks took place on Syria, I had a meeting the night before with Syrian women, a group who represented different parts of the country, different backgrounds, different, uh, if you like, groups of society who came together and who'd been working together. And because we talked with them, the next day in the talks, we were able to specifically reference what they had said and what they wanted and the issues that mattered hugely to them. It's a very tiny example. But unless you've got a sense of what's happening on the ground and you're working with people who are directly affected by the decisions that you're going to take around the diplomatic tables at these high levels, you have less chance of achieving something permanent and sensible and that's going to make their lives better. So in any discussion on any resolution of a problem, you have to be able to know that you're working in a direction that the people who are directly affected are going to find is going to help them. The problem is often that civil society it doesn't exist in the form that we would know it in countries where there's been repression. When I went to Tunisia for the first time after uh, the end of the Ben Ali regime, I went to visit the human rights organisations, a group of different NGOs working together, and I was the first person who'd ever crossed the threshold uh, from outside because they'd never been allowed to meet with anybody. So the onus is really on you, if you're the negotiator or the person trying to support them, to go find people who may not have been visible, may not have been allowed to be visible. Um, and once we've made them visible, it's their job to keep at us, to keep telling us what we need to do. I used to say when I was doing equality legislation in Britain, to all the groups you know, that I worked with, you've got to keep at us. Even if you think this legislation is great, it's not going to be enough. There's plenty more to do. And that really matters that people are held to account, but also supported to try and drive through change that's going to make a big difference, people on the ground.